Hi, my name is Deborah. I am a genocidal prison survivor, and this comes with a trigger warning. I think one of the hardest things for me being sent to residential school was the loneliness, thinking about my family, worrying about my grandparents, wondering if they were being helped around the home, their home for their chores, and just just people visiting, visiting with them. I miss their hugs. I miss their smiles. I miss their unconditional love for me. And when times got too difficult, and I felt a little overwhelmed, then those are the times I would go to the library just to go to the library, I had to ask permission to go. Um, sometimes I'd bring my beading loom or I'd bring my booklet and pen or I would say I was going over there to do some dusting. Um, just to be alone with my thoughts and thinking about, you know, it, it would have been it would have been so nice to be able to stay with my family and I'm working on something right now. I thought I'd share it with you. I found this app where I would be able to start writing my book. I asked one of my friends that has written several books for um, advice and all he said was just write down your thoughts. As soon as you wake up in the morning, write down your thoughts. Bring, Make sure you have a pad and a booklet by your bed. And just write what comes to your mind. Because what you're talking about, um, like right now, he said, it is a good uh, narrative for a book. So I started. I'm not sure how far I'll get. And the first part was really hard. As I had to look back at when I got to my got to my home and my suitcase was packed and I was told that I was being sent to residential school, not knowing where that was. I'm invited uh, to my best friend's place for uh, dinner tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. I hope you have an amazing day. It's kind of chilly out here. <laughs> Exquelas. Take care. Exquelas.